Hi, and welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we're going to be looking at the percentile chart. Now, the percentile chart looks like a line chart, although it's used differently. You'll see that it's used to show a distribution of values over a range. And that's what we're going to look at in a couple examples here, or at least one example here in our video today. Uh, now, it's really useful for answering the questions like, I want to know a percentage of my customers that are doing X. So I give you an example here in the slide. Uh, where I want to ask the question, are 80% of my customers have bought at least X number of items? So when I go to the grocery store, I buy at least four items, and 80% of my customers are in that bin that buy uh, four items. And that's what you're really going to get with the percentile chart, is showing you what percentile of your data falls under that certain bin or set of values. And that's what we're going to see. And this is a really cool visual. I think you'll really enjoy this. Let's go ahead and go into how you can go download it, then how you can import it into the Power BI desktop and start to use it. All right, so our first stop is going to be to the Visuals Gallery. If you go to visuals.powerbi.com, that will take you to the Power BI Custom Visual Gallery that we're looking at right now. And you're going to work your way down here until you find the percentile chart, which is a little bit farther down right here. And you'll select the percentile chart and go ahead and download the visual. You'll see it has a good description on how you might use the percentile chart. You can also see who published it here. And I do recommend that you download the sample. The sample gives you a good idea of how you may use the percentile chart. And it gives you some data sample as well. All right, so we're going to go ahead and download the visual. I've already done that, but you should do that here as well. And once you've done that, you're ready to work your way over to the Power BI desktop. All right, now in this example, what we're going to be looking at is the height of a seven-year-old. We're going to be looking at 20 different seven-year-olds in a data file, and we're going to be looking at what the percentile of the children's height are. And it's going to happen to be boys' heights, and I have a range of boys, like I said, 20 different records that are going to show me their height, and I want to see what the percentile of their height is. So I can see which fall under the higher range, which fall under the lower range, and we'll be able to determine that once we look at the data. All right, so we're going to start by going ahead and importing our data. We'll do that by going up to the Get Data section here in the top. I'll select Get Data from an Excel sheet, an Excel workbook. I'm going to select Boy Height. That's our file we're going to be using for this example. And click on Open. Now, once you've selected that, you'll then be able to choose from the spreadsheets that you have inside of that workbook. There's one in here called Children's Height. We'll select that, and you'll see what the records look like that are coming in. All right, so we'll go ahead and hit Load to bring that into our data model. That'll load straight into our Power Pivot, uh, Power BI data model here. And we'll see two different records that are appearing here for us. Now, there's a couple different ways you can visualize this data. One way I like to look at it first before we bring in the percentile is to maybe bring it into something like a column chart. And so I'm going to select the height here. You'll notice it automatically places it into a column chart here for me. But what I'd like to do is I want to be able to see something like a set of buckets. I want to bucket each of the possible heights that I may have and see how many children fall under these different buckets. The way you can do that in Power BI is you can buy, do that by creating groups. So if I right click on the height over here and select group, this will allow me to now create a group, and I can tell it how, how much large do I want the size of those groups to be. And so in this case, because we're looking at height in inches, I'm going to make each group to be about 0.5 inches apart from each other. Okay, so I'll change this to 0.5 and hit OK, and that'll now create a height bin for me. Now if I check that off, you'll see that that adds to my column chart here. And I can see a distribution of my values. And I may even change this. Instead of showing the height as a value here, I may add in the children. And let's say, just say, actually, I, right now, it's, you can see it's trying to aggregate the number of children that I have. Uh, I don't really want to sum that. So I'm going to select children and remove the aggregate from that. I'm just going to select children, go up to the modeling ribbon here. And we're going to make this so that it does not summarize. I'll select do not summarize here. All right, so the goal there is it's just going to bring back a list of my children. Let's add that back in here. There we go. Now we're getting there. We're going to do a count of my children just like that instead of summing them. And now with a count of all the children that I have, I can see that I placed them into different bins. And this is inside of a column chart here where I can see all of the children that fall under the range between 46.5 uh, and 47. That falls under about four children there. I have between 47 and 47.5. I have three. And then between 47.5 and really 49.9, I have uh, five children. So I can kind of see the distribution of values this way. This is one nice way to see a distribution of values. The other way is through the percentile chart that we're focused in on in this module. So we're going to go up to import our custom visual. So I'll go up to the import section here and select import custom visual. I'll select import again. And then I'm going to select here 
from the visual section that I've already downloaded the percentile chart. You should have downloaded it as well. I'll select the percentile chart and hit open. With that visual now imported, I'll go ahead and select that, add it to my visual landscape here, make it really large so we can see what we're working with. And then I'm going to bring in the height as a value. You can see that the two different fields you have here to work with are the roll underscore display name underscore values. That's going to be your measure, in this case height. And then I'm going to bring in children for our category. Okay, so we should have basically one data point here for every child that we have. And you can actually go across the percentile chart here and select and see, well, our children that are of the, uh, you know what, one other thing we're going to do here is we're also going to change this here from height to summing it to average, which shouldn't really impact it a ton because of our category had one value per category. But just to make sure in case there was any that we might have had that were more than one, we want to make sure we're, sure we're doing average across the height. But what I can see here now is I have uh, anyone that is 49.1 inches tall are in my 86th percentile of the data that I have. Anyone that's up in here in the higher, the 49.12 inches high, are in 96th percentile of my data that I have. Working my way down here, we can also look further down, and I can see that uh, uh, anyone that's 47.25 inches tall is in the 25th percentile. So kind of interesting way to work with your data. Of course, this, there is cross-filtering here that works. I can select here the five children that I have in this bucket right here and see how those five children lay out across the range of values that I have here. And you can even see on the bottom here that the range on the bottom has now been adjusted to be within the range that I have for that bin that we're looking at. So it's between 47.5, the first one being 47.6 that shows up in the data, and then all the way up to 47.9. So it's an interesting way to look at your data, very nice way. One other thing to point out to you here is there are some customizations to it, not a ton, but if you select the percentile visual and go to the format paintbrush here, you can look underneath the visual data point section and you can change the color of the chart. If you wanted to make it something like red, you can certainly do that. If you wanted to also go underneath the visual data point labels, you could change the number of, of decimal places that are being shown down here on the bottom. So right now it's showing two decimal places. If for some reason I wanted to show three decimal places, I could change that here. And you can see that it increases the percentile decimal places that we're showing in the categories on the bottom. Uh, now I am, uh, not the categories, but the labels in the bottom. Now I'm going to switch that back to two decimal places just to, uh, for, for sake of what we're doing here. It doesn't need to be any higher than two. Really, it could be one. But uh, this should give you a good idea of how you could use the percentile chart and how you can answer those questions like we mentioned earlier. Well, I want to know the percentage of customers that have bought four items, something like that. I should be able to do that in here by bringing in multiple data sets and being able to place it across the percentile chart. Hope you guys enjoyed this module. Look forward to showing you our next one in our next module.